Whether tightening the wheels on your bike or working on your car, a combination wrench can make the toughest job safe and easy. The best combination wrench gives you reach and strength and won't bust your knuckles when you're working in those hard-to-reach places. A high-quality combination wrench can last you a lifetime. A combination wrench tightens and loosens nuts and bolts using its U-shaped open end or its enclosed box end with a hexagonal shape. Combination wrenches come in imperial and metric sizes. To start, a steel bar travels into a die-cutting machine that cuts it into lengths called billets. Each billet will become a wrench. One by one, a machine feeds the billets into an induction heater. It heats them to about 1,000 degrees Celsius, then sends them into a forging press, where the first die creates the wrench's general shape. The second die gives it its finished shape. And the third trims off the excess metal. The wrenches exit the forge press and cool off on their way into a collection box. A worker grinds off the trim line, a thin line of excess metal created when the top and bottom dies come together. He loads the wrenches into an automatic edge polishing machine. Using an 80 grit sanding belt, the machine grinds the trim line on both sides of the handle. The wrenches leave the edge polishing machine trim line free. A worker then places each wrench onto a 75-ton hydraulic press, which stamps it with the brand name, size and part number. This bend machine gives the box end a 15-degree angle. A vertical milling machine then drills a hole into the box end, using coolant to keep the drill from overheating. This is a hydraulic hex brooch machine. The brooch tool is what gives the hole a hexagonal shape. Open end wrenches also go through a broaching operation. In this case, the brooch tool shapes the open end into the desired size. A worker then grinds the open end of the wrenches and makes sure they are perfectly smooth. The wrenches now undergo a three-stage heat tempering procedure to harden and strengthen the metal. For some combination wrenches, a slotting machine cuts an opening out of the box end that has the hex shape broached into it. This turns the wrench into a flare nut wrench that's ideal for working on hard to reach bolts, like on a hydraulic line. Ceramic stones and a chemical solution polish the wrenches for eight hours, giving them a bright, luster finish. A machine then dips the wrenches into a nickel plating solution that helps make them corrosion resistant. This series of baths then plates the wrenches with trivalent chrome, which is a safer, more environmentally friendly alternative to traditional plating methods. After a final rinse in water, the wrenches come out with a bright cosmetic finish. Combination wrenches are available in a variety of sets, all conveniently organized and neatly stored. Since the 1920s, this company has been making combination wrenches of all shapes and sizes for jobs of all shapes and sizes.